is my video on um, the Giandel, um 1200 watt um, with solar charge inverter and mainly I'm going to be looking at what the interface is. It's not going to be a review on this um, power supply. It's going to be mainly a review on the on off switch. So this is just a kind of a membrane switch. Um, the reason why I'm going to be doing this is um, I'm going to be examining this this plug right here. Um, and um, so the plug is a four pin plug and it's and it's uh, super skinny. Um, so the the thing that I'm trying to do is hook up to um, do a remote switch and I'm trying to hook up to a relay that um, my BMS is going to actuate. So um, this thing is thinner than than a regular um, phone phone set plug. So uh, the problem is going to be um, that we have to deal with a circuit board here that I'll um, I'll show you in a so second. This plug is about um, about 0.3 wide. Um, as you see, you could kind of fake it into a uh, regular six-pin um, socket, but um, it it doesn't quite work very well. This might actually be pretty hard to source. So the situation is this thing here goes over. Um, here's the cover here. It's screwed on. And you just take it off with two screws. Comes off pretty easily. So um, what we're dealing with here on the board is a micro switch where um, this that that lead and that lead um, go together with the micro switch, and um, so. What happens is there's voltage on this, and then um, when we when we do the micro switch contact, it um, actually um, sends a signal to the the um, the base unit, and then tells it to turn on some sort of latch um, on off. So that's the situation, and um, right here you can kind of see these are the four pins. Um, and one of these is um, voltage. So um, if I wanted to to read voltage, for instance, I'd uh, go onto this pin right here, and um, I'm reading roughly uh, 8.3 DC now, right? But um, now it's a it's a quick pulse to turn it off, and um, you can kind of see that everything went off, and it's a and it's a you can't turn it on with a quick pulse. It's a long pulse to turn it on. There, there it went on. But a quick pulse to turn it to turn it off okay so um, if I was then to uh, say in the off state I could read I'll read some voltage here and I'm reading 13 oops got that right yep, get it get it 13.6 which is roughly what my power supply is at. So when it's when it's enabled, when the thing's on, it reads less voltage than when it than 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 it in the off state. So um, I think um, the only way you can probably do this is to try to emulate because a quick pulse 
um, will obviously not turn it on. Okay, but a quick pulse will turn it off. So um, I'm going to do an experiment with a relay and see if I can turn it off with a pulse of a relay right now. So now let's think about um, what we could do. Possibly we could take a relay and put it across these pins. And um, let's say we don't want a pulse and we just want to have the relay hold hold that in place. Um, if uh, if you know if we are in a condition that our um, battery gets low voltage or BMS triggers, which is what I'm trying to work on right now. So okay, so it's in so it's in the um, off state right now, things off, and so what we're going to do is do a press and hold this this thing here so I pressed it and hold hold it but the but this thing is not going off um, I mean it is sorry it's not going on so until I lift up and open the re and open the relay then um, it goes on now when I want to turn it off I could just I'm gonna do a quick press on I'm just gonna uh, press and hold again and you'll see as soon as I press and hold it goes off right away so there's a mimicking um, the relay being on so it seems like if the relay is um, if it's closed then even though this this lights on it seems like if, if there as long as the relay stays closed it doesn't change state um, and that might be a way that you can actually automate um, what's happening here um, and um, so anyway, it's sort of disappointing um, in that you, it's going to take a little bit of extra logic to get this to work. These connectors aren't, you know, exactly standard. Um, and so you're going to have to, it's a four wire system. Um, you know, it it's it's going to be kind of hard to work with. I'm probably just going to return it because I can't really handle this remote situation. I'm going to look for another solution. Um, but this is like I think it was a hundred bucks with tax. You know, eighty some dollars. Um, really good reviews. Uh, I think it's a gr I think it's a nice um, looks like a good nice inverter and then also has solar input well which is another problem if you intend to use the solar input I'm not sure how how good the switch will work um, and then you know those of you who are thinking about maybe um, overriding the, the 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 switch it you know going into the switch and maybe doing something I think we've got the same unfortunate situation here happening with the switch um, okay, super. Um, it's a push button switch right there and it's got the same kinda like the same thing going on there um, long press to turn it on short press to turn it off so there's there's really not much help there um, the other thing is, you know, the cables, you know, it's they're nice, but they're kind of a kind of loose. And then it's got the screw terminals. I guess you could switch that for bolts. I'm going to use it in the marine environment. These things have a tendency, I think, to come loose. Um, so anyway, it's going back, but I I do I do sort of like it. Um, and prefer the price too it's good but I'm gonna look at something else you might want to watch a couple of other videos and maybe I'll figure out something else I think I'm gonna modify another inverter I have